Hello everybody, my name is Anderson Santos and I'm the founder of Cashewbird. Many of you have asked me to make uh, videos and explain everything I know about vegan cheese and finally I managed to do it. So I'm gonna show you in five videos all the fundamentals to make vegan cheese yourself at home. Um, and if you'd like to support us, you can also go to books at cashewbird.com and download and buy um, the full featured version of the book with recipes and step-by-step -step photos. Um, so please go to books.cashewbird.com and support our work uh, by purchasing one of our books. Let's start talking about the term vegan cheese. Many people don't like it. Many people think that if it's not um, from an animal, that's not a cheese. And I do get that, especially when we are talking about the cheese world where you have many cheeses that either it's only from goat milk, either from alpine cows that were raised at the specific uh, conditions and so on. So you have a lot of restrictions there. Um, and then if you look what um, are on the market nowadays for vegan cheese, many of them are not really satisfactory. It, it doesn't look like cheese, it doesn't taste like cheese, it's just something else. So I do get this preservation, I do get also the lobby and so on. But when talking about the way I do it, I did base all my theory on traditional cheese making. That means the cultures that I use, they are used on dairy cheese. The process that I use to age it, to ferment it, are very similar to dairy cheeses. So I can't just use a different word when it's so closely related. Um, so yes, I do get it. Um, our camembert, it's not gonna be a camembert, but it's gonna be cashew bread. It's gonna be something different, but very similar at the same time. So if you're in Europe, you might have heard that you are not allowed to uh, sell vegan cheese anymore. You need to call it something else. But for the sake of these videos and for the sake of the tradition that we are following here, um, it's based on cheese. So I'm gonna uh, keep calling vegan cheese on my videos, on my uh, ways. But if you're selling a product in Europe, you're not allowed to say it's vegan cheese. Okay, so we talked about vegan cheese, but what about cheese? What actually cheese is? Um, so there are many ways to define this, but um, in, in the simple definition is that you have a liquid, which is the milk, you curdle it, you ferment it, uh, you ferment it and then you get a different flavor, a different texture and a, a longer shelf life. That was uh, the or origin of, of cheese was to make this milk that um, will only last for a few days to last for weeks or months. So if you think about the milk that was, was used in the beginning, it is a liquid that contains mainly fat, protein and sugars. And that's the basics for a fermentation process. So you need to transform from liquid to uh, something solid, you need the protein. The protein will change and will curdle and will create this structure, this kind of a pudding um, that will be pressed and uh, turn into cheese. The second one is fermentation. You need bacteria and you need sugars for that. In the milk you have lactose and this lactose will be consumed by the bacteria and will ferment, create lactic acid, will create flavors and so on. So um, the sugars in that milk is very important for the fermentation that will happen. Um, and the third one is that if you think about a tofu, it's basically vegan cheese. You have soy milk. This soy milk is going to be transformed into a curd, but it doesn't taste, it doesn't look like cheese really. It's completely different. Why is it so different? Mostly because it lacks fat. So the milk, the cheese has butter fat, which gives this, this rich mouthfeel and tofu doesn't have it. So one of the reasons why tofu tastes like tofu is the lack of fat. So that's how you get the three uh, key ingredients. You have the protein that will helps um, to create the cheese curd. You have the sugars that helps the fermentation and I have the fat that 
Uh, it does help the fermentation, but most importantly, gives a rich mouthfeel to the cheese. And I talk a lot about fermentation, but what does it mean? In the most basic process, you have, for example, yogurt. You have a liquid. This liquid will be fermented um, by bacteria, and then it change the texture and the flavors. We create a bit more sourness there. It will be a bit more stable to age for a longer period and so on. So um, that's what we get from the fermentation. And you can think about sauerkraut, you can think about pickles. You have this fermentation by bacteria uh, that will change the product and make it a bit more stable um, to last longer and to create new flavors. But on the cheese, this fermentation is much more complex in the way that we also need a lot of yeast and molds um, that we work that um, cheese to create new flavors, new texture, and so on. So you have a very complex fermentation system with a lot of microorganisms that will consume the sugars, change the protein and the fat, um, and create new aromas, new flavors, and new textures. So if you're making vegan cheese, you're not using milk, so what do you use instead? If you think that the fermentation uh, for cheese is, uh, requires protein, fat, and sugars, uh, what is in the vegan world which is rich on the three key ingredients, components? So that will be nuts or seeds. They are rich, uh, they are well balanced in general. So that could be your start. If you think about making an oat cheese, for example, oats are rich on starches, on carbohydrates, but not a lot of protein and not a lot of fat. So you wouldn't have the basics for a cheese fermentation. That's why you need to play around. For example, you can use soy, which is rich in uh, protein and add, for example, coconut milk, uh, which is rich in, in, in fat, and you could have a base for a cheese. And in our recipes, we mostly use cashews or almonds because they are well balanced and because they also have a more neutral flavor. And if you're making, um, for example, a sunflower camembert, this plant flavor will always be there. The color will be different. So um, that's one of the reasons why we choose cashew or almonds, but you could use something else. You could play or um, use part of one and part of the other and create um, different flavors depending on what you have at hand. So what's the takeaway lesson here? Is that for the fermentation, you need three components, fat, protein, and sugars. And cashews and almonds are rich on those uh, three elements. That's why we use it, but you can play a, um, around and adjust your recipe depending on if you want more fat or less fat. And if you want to think about it, you can take a look on the milk nutrition and the soy nutrition and you see how different it is. And you think, oh, I can add more fat to it, like coconut milk, and try to make something out of it. The taste will be different, but you can play along and get um, fermentation that might be to your taste or follow one of our uh, four recipes that we have. On our next video, I'm gonna show you about all the different cultures that we have at Cashew Bird and how you can use it in order to create your vegan cheese. Thank you for watching.